Master the art of idioms, spotting idiomatic expressions in context. Hello language lovers! Welcome back to our series on Advanced Vocabulary. Today, we're going to dive deeper into the world of idiomatic expressions. We'll focus specifically on recognizing idiomatic expressions in context. This is a crucial skill for anyone aiming to achieve fluency and sound more like a native speaker. So, let's jump right in. An idiomatic expression is a phrase or sentence whose meaning cannot be understood from the ordinary meanings of the words in it. For instance, if I tell you, it's raining cats and dogs, you'd know that I'm not talking about pets falling from the sky. Instead, I'm using an idiomatic expression to say that it's raining heavily. Learning idiomatic expressions can be quite a challenge. They often seem arbitrary and are difficult to guess, but they're a huge part of the English language. Now, how do we recognize these idiomatic expressions when they appear in a conversation or text? There are a few strategies that can help. One, look for unusual imagery. If a sentence paints a strange or impossible picture, like raining cats and dogs, it's likely idiomatic. Two, listen for phrases that don't make sense literally. If a phrase doesn't make sense in the literal context, it might be an idiom. For instance, bite the bullet doesn't literally mean to bite into a bullet. Instead, it means to endure a painful or otherwise unpleasant situation that is seen as unavoidable. 3. Pay attention to the native speakers. The best way to learn idioms is by listening to or reading native speakers. They often use idioms in everyday conversation without even realizing it. Once you've identified idiomatic expressions, you should practice using them. One good method is to write sentences using the idioms you've learned. This not only helps to reinforce their meanings but also helps you to learn how to use them correctly. Don't forget to expose yourself to various forms of English language content, such as movies, books, podcasts, and music. They're all great sources of idiomatic expressions. The more you expose yourself to native English, the more idioms you will encounter and learn. That's all for today's lesson on recognizing idiomatic expressions in context. Remember, idioms are a big part of sounding like a native speaker, and recognizing them in context is your first step. Keep practicing and don't be afraid to use idioms in your conversations. You'll soon master this exciting part of the English language. Thanks for tuning in, and happy learning!